Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bakka, and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. And let's see how it goes. I hope you enjoy the game. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video as well. So that I can continue posting some nice content on a regular basis. I'll develop the bishop here. Play pawn forward so that there's no checks coming in the future. E3 is solid as always. A uh, couple of ideas here I can exchange bishops. But let's go ahead with the pawns. Try and beat the aggressor here. The F pawn is missing for the opponent, which can be a weakness as well can of course be an advantage too. Um, I have to safeguard my bishop here, so I'll come back. Of course, it was being attacked with a couple of pieces, so I don't want to lose extra pawn with the bishop, so that's why I retrieved the bishop. If my opponent plays pawn forward, the knight would be hanging, so opponent has to be careful there. Bishop is bad in opponent's pawn structure there. So I'll just try and continue pushing my pawn, which weakens up the square then eventually. Uh, now what we can do is uh, develop the knight, uh, the bishop, take the pawn, uh, the knight, and spoil the pawn structure, and then take with the queen, which hits with a check. So and retrieves. I'll get my bishop here, trying to uh, hit the other knight now. The bishop is on a nice diagonal and can be very effective someday. Okay, can play pawn forward, just I'll plant my bishop there. Not a problem at all. Okay, develops the bishop. Now I think I can take it. And then go with the queen, maybe. My knights are not developed. What am I doing again? Okay, that is interesting idea. Having majority of center pawns. Let's go with the knight. Let's go with the knight. Yeah. Hit the center. Attack the bishop. Attack the pawn. Okay. Open gets the knight out. And I can push pawn forward. Just kick it backwards. Couple of squares for the knight again. Uh, I don't need to take it or I should take it. I'm not sure. Maybe centralized knights are always nice is what I always say. So I'll go ahead with the knight. This is guarded. So not an issue. Okay. Opponent is hitting this. And this which is defended. So not an issue. Can take here. But then... Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, I should have taken the knight maybe earlier. Okay, I should take this bishop. Now let this be. Let's go with the queen somewhere. And the idea is of taking this maybe and then the pawn so that it's a check and I still get to win the bishop. That way I can get an extra pawn. I think. Also, this um, saves my pawn structure. Oh, opponent identifies. Well played. I thought that could be tricky to notice. Uh, let's try and exchange bishops. If this works, let's see. Oh, this is also under attack. I missed it. Rook. So if bishop trade happens, I have to take with the queen, but not the rook. Otherwise, I lose a pawn and the momentum as well. Knight is tricky there. Need to kick it back. Pawn forward would do it. Ah, let's see. Okay, have to take with the queen as we discussed. This defends, but do I need to sack the queen for two pieces? 
mostly not can i take this pawn can i take this pawn if i take this pawn with the knight opponent can take with the queen as well that's the problem uh let's take here then or the better idea is to come back this hits the rook also i'm preparing to go here and then exchange knights at least hmm this looks to me to be a good idea goes back um how do i take this thing away maybe exchange rooks let's exchange rooks queen comes in i go here or oh, doubles up very quick um how is knight here it doesn't work because he's trying to come here or here if i move the knight at max i lose a pawn i think this saves the temporary trouble now I have this as well coming. Yeah, let's go. Attack again. Opponent has been really nice here. Maybe I also didn't develop my pieces properly. Maybe my opponent didn't let me do it. Both of them were a good factors. Again, my opponent continues to hit me. Rating is also nice to win. 2040. I haven't reached that rating ever. Thus far. Okay, what have I got here? Let's go with the knight. Try and utilize this. Your opponent can make mistakes any point of time. I'm just holding on to one of those. Okay, I go here with the ideas of going and cutting out this file completely. Check, can move up, not troublesome so far. The pawn here is a big advantage and that can win you game any point of time. So just waiting for the right time to hit the weak spot. Rook can go here at least, attacking the knight. Because this doesn't work, I have queen backwards. Oh, play spawn forward. I'll take here. Takes with the knight. Okay, time. I'll go here, which means I'm defending still. I'm hitting this. Okay, I can just move my knight and then acquire this and hit with a checkmate. Can work out. Can it? Open doubles up. Uh, I'll take. Okay, I'll go here. I'll hit the knight. That's a check. I need to exchange another option. Let's save the knight. 
No, no, I don't need to take. I need to take. I don't know. Can be tricky. I'll take. Head the rook goes backwards. Go up. Better mouse. I got a better mouse. I thought he had one. Oh, that's interesting. Point 0.4. Wow, that is as low that, as it gets. And he had defeated me last time. Badly. <laughs> but that was long back. Okay. So nice player. Defeated on time eventually. But wow, that was a good game for a long time. Uh, let's analyze from computer perspective. He didn't let me develop my pieces at all. I had to play pawn forward, but I took the pawn. Uh, here, continuing development. In pawn forward, trying to be the aggressor there. Bishop with the knight, I had to go back. Then pawn forward. I continue Pinning the knight there, goes back, pinning the other knight. It's not a pin actually, but yeah. Hitting the knight and then pawn forward, trying to stabilize the position. Taking on the knight was bad. I should have first developed. But that's still okay. It's in favor of white so far. Pinning pawn forward. Going on with the knight was too early. Yeah, this was the move which I shouldn't have played. Till here I was in control. I should have got my other knight out, but I went with the knight, which allowed him to come with his knight, and then, okay. Here, computer suggesting. Okay, this is a weird suggestion. I had thought of this, but my opponent can take this or the pawn, both. If he takes the pawn, then what? You let the pawn go. Knight isn't doing much. Knight isn't doing much. So you can let your opponent's knight go to inactivity, castle, so that your king is safe. Okay, I missed this part. Offered bishop exchange rather, which my opponent does take. Here I should take with a rook, okay, and I took with the queen, which was again bad. My opponent takes here. Did I see for a second that queen takes knight was a move? It should not be ideally. But computer was recommending it for a second. Now it's not. Let's see if I take this. Is there a move? Okay, you just take two pieces for the queen. But that's again not going to help you in the long run. So I didn't do that. Try to attack the rook. Rook goes back. Still, it's a draw situation if both play good. Rook exchange was bad. I tried to release the pressure, but not right way queen comes in i go sidestep these couple of moves my opponent was pretty fast knowing what he has to do just lining up rook and queen i try to make space and then a fork which wasn't helping me anyway open goes back and yes i don't have to trade i just try to maneuver my knight uh yeah the position keeps getting worse after playing uh, to e1 have to move up pawn forward i took here yeah, this was one move i was thinking in the game as well to just attack the knight but then from I, I didn't know the continuation as well because knight can of course be maneuvered from there so if i play here knight can also come here is what i was bothered about and yes this was another move but then i thought my opponent can take the knight in that case, oh, I have blocked this, taken control, so I can just get my queen here. And once I get it, my opponent cannot save the game. It's going to be mate. And if he tries to get queen in between, then again, it's kind of mate eventually. So I had to get my rook here. I missed this move, otherwise I was winning on position as well. Uh, here the best move was to exchange to give the knight and take the rook. Okay. Uh, again, trying to take here. 
I came here, but okay, my opponent can take the pawn, but he doesn't. And that was losing anyway. Then I changed queens, took this. So I had one more chance here. Uh, I was trying to be a bit cheeky here, I would say. If my opponent takes with the knight, and I take with the pawn, and now my opponent takes uh, with the rook. Oh, that's not checkmate, because the rook can come back. He had to move the rook away from this file. So f file was completely controlled throughout my, by my opponent. That was the disadvantage. Despite the pawn being there on h6, I thought I was in the game, but probably there was very little time I had this game. F opponent tries to go back. I, we exchange rooks. And then I moved with the king, trying to take some pawns. And then I had lost my direction. <laughs> Taking the king to the wrong direction, then took the pawn, trying to make sure I can get the queen on the board as well. It was not going to happen anyway. It was mate in four. My opponent actually wasted time moving more pawns, trying to create another queen. He could have mated me with a queen and the knight. Also, when you ha have got only a king to move, uh, you have to make sure that it's not being uh, kept on squares, which are being can be checked as well. So that uh, you are fast on time because if you are pre-moving somewhere the king and uh, and that can be a check in the next move, then then you you can lose that some milliseconds and that can hamper you with the game. So I defeated eventually on time, but yeah, win is a win. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting game. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.